Hello YouTube, my name's Dave. Welcome to my workshop in a single car garage here in South Australia. Come on in and let's see what we can make. Hello again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how, with the aid of a spin indexer, that, that you're able to do an offset on it, on how to mill a eccentric on a, on a vertical milling machine. Um, I've got the setup behind us all ready to go, so I'll now shift the camera and uh, we'll begin the demonstration. Now, what you're seeing here is a Harrig USA made uh, spin de indexer. Um, but this one, I'll unlock it, so I'll just show you that. Um, but with this one, you have the ability, um, this B block that the, that the part is uh, resting in, is a being able to uh, be adjusted. You know, over about I don't know whatever that is, what's that inch and a half, maybe maybe two inch movement. Um, therefore, enabling you to do uh, to do eccentrics. So what I intend to do is to um, is to machine this piece of um, uh, white delrin um, just to show you how that you can um, you can mix it if you if you've got a, 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 a attachment like this or or a similar one that you can actually do a do a, a, an offset. Um, to show you how to uh, uh, machine an eccentric. So what I should do now is um, uh, start the machine up. We're going right now. What we must remember with this thing is is that we always do conventional um, milling with it, so that you know the the, the cutter will be rotating um, clockwise, and we need to wind this anti-clockwise otherwise if you, if you try and do climbing in it'll grab it and, and, and you know you could end up with, with all sorts of problems so uh, I'll start the machine up and I'm going to take uh, just just make this just just as a, not a nominal diameter so well we'll uh, see what we can do right let's uh, we'll put on about and we're going to go in about half an inch um, not, not, not important I'll tell you what, it helped it help actually put a cut on, wouldn't it? Right, I'm, I'm going about half an inch. About half an inch. And of course we can then... Right now, say we need to uh, to have a specific diameter. What you've got to bear in mind is, although this is on a metal machine, you've got to treat it as if it's a lathe, so uh, depth of cut wise. So if we measure this and say, okay, well we run another thirty thou off. Well, remember that uh, you've only got to take fifteen out of fifteen thou cut because it's going to take fifteen thou off this side, fifteen thou off the other side. So um, just 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 be aware of that. Um, I'm, I'm not, I, I'll tell you what, we'll just, we'll just do another little, uh, just a little slight clean up on that. Another, because uh, it's, it's, it's got a funny mark on it, not that, not that it really matters. And we'll put a, another small amount on there. And bear in mind to say, you must, you must feed into it like this. The other, the, other, the other thing to be aware of is, is, is the end mills aren't um, dead flat on the end, so we've actually got to make sure that we've uh, that we've uh, see here, taken a bit more of a cut there. So we'll go around there. Otherwise, you'll uh, you'll have ended up with with a, with a non-flat surface. So. Uh, yeah, quite a quite a reason, quite a reasonable finish too. Right. So now the next situation is is what we need to do is to um, set this up with the correct throw that we want. So what I'm actually going to do is now is I'm going to I'm going to lock this 
so that the V-block is in the vertical position and it, you know, and she's locked in. So what we need to do now is to um, set up a reference. So I shall be back when I've, uh, I've got to get a DTI out now and, uh, and set it up. So I shall be back when we're ready for that. See you soon. So what we have now is I've, I've set up a, a DTI, um, found the high spot. Now this method relies on, you mustn't move the quill anymore uh, or, or adjust the dial. Um, so, so what I intend to do now is we've, we've, we've now got to we've now got to shift it, this up a quarter an inch, 250 thou. That's that's the throw I intend to machine. So what so so to achieve that, what I've actually got to do is now is is to wind the DTI out of the way, lower the knee, uh, 250 thou, and also bring it back up again. I'm going to take it past it and then come back up again to to, to, to eliminate any backlash. 270, here we are coming back up to here we are 250 right now what we need to do is to um, uh, slacken off the locking bolt this 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 v-box slot will now is able to slide up and down so what we've actually got to do now is is to uh, slacken this off there's a Allen bolt in the front and then in the side is a um, is, a, is an adjustment screw so if I now put this back over the part and put the allen key into the adjusting uh, screw as you can see it's uh, it's coming up so what we just need to do is just bring it up carefully bring it up until the DTI reads Here I'm. Oh, oh. That's a little bit critical. There we are, and we lock it up again. And that has now set us up the um, for the 250,000 row. Um, right. So we've we've we're finished with this setup now. So I can uh, I can I can I can remove the uh, I can remove the DTI and. Uh, proceed a two machine so what we need to do is to crank this all the way up again <laughs> about there somewhere now it doesn't matter now whether you whether you bring the 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 quill down or the or, or the knee up the machine, and it's uh, it's six to one and a half dozen any other really. Um, so bear in mind again that as I say that we must. Um, oh, sorry, that's a that's a good strain going by. Um, must remember to um, not to climb over this. So I've actually got to I've actually got to uh, rotate it in this direction. So what I'm actually going to do is. Um, just bring this down and just just because this this is only a, this is only a rough saw on end so I'll put that on there and we set that and we'll say go over uh, to two 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 hundred two hundred and fifty how about that two two I'll make it two fifty five and then I'll cl I'll clean the five tower off the end so there we are two fifty five there we are right so as you can see the operation so it's going to be right take the brake off right I'll oh, put it on stop for safety right ready to touch now, here we go. Mm, looks like the end not a sharp fit as it could be, but I say unfortunately it needed a um, a long series one um, because of the because of the throw so um, 
We're getting a little bit of a bar, but uh, before is you must because this cutter isn't isn't flat on the bottom you, you've got it you've got a otherwise you won't end up with a parallel um, with a parallel boss now of course depending on if you have to stop that depending on uh, you know if you want a known diamond of course obviously this is the point that you can mic it up and then say okay I'm uh, you know another 20 thou to come off but so bearing in mind you've got to treat this as if it's a lathe so if you're 20 thou oversized you've only got to put a 10 thou cut on otherwise you'll uh, you'll, you'll cock it all up um right so it just remains um you yeah, know just just to just to finish it off i'll i'll, I'll put this back to uh because because the end is only only a saw on um, finish i'll take that back to uh where are we uh, uh, five thou and then it'll just be a case of um, lowering that down and um, and uh, cleaning cleaning the end up <laughs> sorry that's, that's 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 the wrong that's the wrong five thou on this on this uh, it's um, minus five I want I want plus five machine square end now of course from here I could if we wanted to um, set set this up uh, lock, lock this lock this uh, in the vertical position in the again, put this in the vertical position and then dial up the uh, the, the boss and then um, uh, drill and ream it or I could take the part out and put it in a in a V block vertically and do the same or of course take it out here altogether take it over to the lathe and uh, saw it off or part it off and then grip this on a with a um, inner collet, a 
can face the other side and and even um, you know if you, if you need an identical boss on the other side machine it from there but uh, well just hope that will uh, just give you a little uh, insight on uh, what you can do if you've got a uh, a spin indexer that you can uh, offset one axis uh, we'll call that it for a moment and I'll be back with a conclusion bye for now ah so there we have it uh, hope you found that uh, interesting and said mind you uh, I don't know how many of you out there ever likely want to do it but I just thought it's uh, another little um, another little tip that I can pass on to uh, the YouTube land so once again uh, thanks again for watching uh, please subscribe ring the bell click the like send me a message uh, a comment good or bad or, or an email and until we meet again on the next uh, video wherever you are in the world please stay safe well and happy and catch you again on the next one oh there's by the way there's a few stills at the end bye